to Educational Applications of Technology. I want to take a couple of minutes and overview the syllabus for you so you have a good idea of where we're headed during this next semester. Um, and be sure that if you have any questions that uh, I answer them as fully as possible as we start off the semester. Uh, you will see the syllabus document linked in Learning House, um, and so if you want to open that, you can, or you can just watch this video and then open it and save it to your computer for future reference. Uh, my contact information is uh, included on the syllabus. If ever you have questions, uh, individual questions, you should always uh, email them to me. You can send a message through Learning House and it comes straight to my email. The other thing that you can do is post a question. If it's a general question that you think might have broad appeal, you can post that in the Contact the Professor forum at the beginning of the course, at the top of the course page. Uh, notice that I have given you both my mobile and my work number. If there is an emergency situation and you feel like you need to go ahead and talk to me quickly, then you can do that. I'm very good about getting back to my email um, at least every day. I should be able to respond within 24 hours so that you're not sitting and wondering about anything that is due. So as we go through the syllabus, notice there are some um, operating system requirements that you will want to be sure that you can uh, follow. Actually, Learning House um, seems to work best in either Firefox or um, uh, Google Chrome or Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer, I think, is their preferred, but I jump around on all kinds of browsers depending upon what I'm trying to get accomplished, and I even use Safari some. Um, so there are course objectives. Remember, when you're thinking about comprehensive exams, we always tell you to go back and look at those course objectives. Maybe, you know, keep this syllabus for that purpose. And you could come back and jot notes under each one of these objectives to talk about what you learned in the course, and that would be a great study guide for yourself. Then I've taken those different course objectives and aligned them with the assignments that we're doing in the course. And so you'll see under course requirements, I've made reference to which objectives we're addressing with each of the assignments so that you can see the curriculum um, uh, alignment there. Also notice I quickly kind of sped through, but we are also addressing um, standards that uh, help teachers. If you're a regular teacher, everyone has technology application standards they need to be able to address, and so those are these standards one through five here. And uh, also, if you are someone who's interested in seeking the Master Technology Teacher Certification, that's an additional certification, a Master Teacher Certification. That means that you would be um, getting a degree in CNI with Instructional Technology. So if that's interesting to you, you would want to email me if you're not already on that plan. These Master Technology Teacher Certifications serve uh, you well, and there's a whole bunch of coursework that goes along with that. But here you can see which standards in that particular program we're addressing through this course. So the idea here really in this course is to help you not just know how to use technology, you know, you know how to use Word to do word processing. You know how to um, perhaps use Excel to make a quick charter graph, maybe. Um, but, but what we're really trying to do, what I'm trying to do here, is help you become an exceptional technology using teacher. So not only would you model technology use, which is way beyond using a PowerPoint, by the way, but actually reach into the classroom and change your activities so that students are using technology much more so that they can represent what they have learned through using creative tools that are freely available to you. So that's the kind of the focus of this course. Um, you can see here there are a variety of assignments. Let me tell you that the way this is built is that there are all kinds of assignments that you will work on throughout the course 
that at the very end roll into what's going to be called your technology rich unit plan. So this unit plan down here. And of course those same artifacts will be as a part of your portfolio as well. So for example, you're going to do a collage. So I want you to think about using Word, actually the collage and the graphic organizers, force you to think about using Word or any word processor um, in a different way besides writing papers and that those things can also demonstrate learning. So those tools will help you. You will start a, a delicious account and keep a scrapbook of resources. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, or very early on, begin to collect these resources. And all these resources are things that I hope would go into your unit plan. They're things that you may use later. So it's kind of a, you know, giant internet search and you're cataloging all, your re all the great things that you find along the way. And then you'll come back and use them. Your um, blog is, uh, I'm introducing you to a Web 2.0 tool that I hope that you might consider your students to use to uh, do multimedia presentations, so you'll experiment with that. You'll investigate another Web 2.0 tool at, uh, as an option for yourself, and you'll actually even do a screencast um, to present that tool to a classmate. Your tease, you're going to create a digital video. And in this video, using software that you already have, in this video, you will kind of hook your students into this topic that you've chosen for your unit plan. So if you choose to do something on the Revolutionary War, then you would find videos and things that help students understand the context or maybe why people wore at all or, you know, why, why did we have to fight this war? Kind of getting them hooked and, you know, the importance of, you know, fighting for something you believe in and those kinds of things. Um, also, you will uh, create a graphing lesson plan that hopefully would have your students creating and collecting data and then creating a graph as a result and then they learn how to analyze those graphs or charts. This internet tool is also something that you will create to have your students uh, look at resources available online that you collected, by the way, in your delicious um, uh, scrapbook activity, um, and then you've put them together in a teaching tool, either a subject sampler or a treasure hunt. So all those things work together for you to, toward your um, unit plan. Then you will also do some other things. So you'll have to do some research on copyright and learn about those rules and regulations because we're going to have students using all these resources and we want to be sure that we cite things correctly and we know what our limits are on using multimedia. You will um, also be allowed to uh, find a book of your choice. Uh, actually, I have some books you can choose from. I'm sorry. And you choose one of the five or six books in the selection. And you will work with a group to create a tease for the book, kind of a book trailer, but also a, a paper, a group paper. So some of the um, standards that teachers need to be able to uh, demonstrate that they can um, address is collaboration, online collaboration. And so this uh, has you maybe for the first time participate in some online collaboration towards a final product. And that is uh, going to be done through your book review. Throughout this course, every single week, you will do discussion board um, uh, prompts, discussions. You'll work in, on these forums. Generally speaking, there will be something that you will need to have done by Wednesday um, of the week, Wednesday or Thursday of the week, and then following that, you need to come back and read uh, postings that your classmates made and comment on those as well. So read carefully in each of the discussion board threads and um, see what the requirements are, but, but know that there will be an early on posting that you need to do during the week. So don't decide, oh, I'm not going to pay attention to this till the weekend. Know that by midweek there will be something required of you and then you will do follow-up. Really some of these discussions have been some of the richest part of the course because I find it's important for students to learn not just from me but from each other. 
and for there to be more than one voice in this classroom. And so this is the place where we really become a learning community and we learn from each other. And this has been really rich. I've seen students encourage each other and answer their questions and problem solve with them and talk about what they see them doing that they love so much. And, oh, this is brilliant. And I never thought of that. And um, adding a comment and criticism and really helping us to uh, create better products. So um, I hope that you find these discussion boards as um, engaging and thrilling as I have come to find them. You can see here how your grade will be determined in the course. These are the standards. You will be allowed to uh, give appraisal uh, for this course at the end of the term. And so know that we want very much for you to think about this throughout the course and what can we do to make it better. We, we would always like to improve if we can. And then just remember that we are all working in an online environment. One of the great things about Learning House is that it does have a way when you're posting comments and feedback to add some of those emotion uh, symbols. It's sometimes hard for us to read uh, into people's comments whether they're smiling and they're kidding or they're serious or, you know, they're sad or, you know, oh, this is an unfortunate mistake. I'm so sorry, you know. So remember to use those uh, emotive um, symbols as you feel uh, you might need to, to kind of add meaning to your statements. Uh, so this is really all that you need to know at this point, I believe. There is a place at the end of this document for you to read very carefully over the policies and procedures. General attendance, you must log on every week. And in fact, it's best if you always log on by Wednesday of each week and um, you know begin to look at the requirements. There, there is a document. This document at the end gives you an overview of all the dates. There's a course calendar. See all the, the outline and dates of things to do. There's a course calendar in Learning House that you can look at that tells you when assignments are due, not necessarily the forums, but remember forums are due, you know, midweek and end week, uh, every week. So uh, keep up with things as best you can. Follow me on Twitter if you would uh, like to. I, I uh, often find resources and then tweet them out and you can be a recipient on that end. And then um, I will begin to collaborate with you and see uh, you on the boards, uh, hopefully interacting with your classmates. There is a, a syllabus acknowledgement form at the very end of the syllabus that we want for you to, to go ahead and sign. There are rubrics in this document, but know that there are rubrics at each assignment description. There is a rubric there. If I were you, I would not submit an assignment without really scrutinizing what I have done against the rubric. Those rubrics are there, you know, for you really to be sure that you've done a perfect job. And so um, use them that way and be sure what you turn in is uh, the best you can possibly do. So in the end, read this document and upload uh, a signed document here, your syllabus acknowledgement form to uh, Moodle, which is our learning house environment. Uh, you can take a picture of it if it's printed and upload that way. Um, you can scan it and upload it. Whatever you have access to will be just fine. I hope you enjoy the course. I think you will. I think you'll find that it challenges you. No matter what level of technology use you are at right now, I believe that uh, this will grow you as a exemplary technology using teacher. Good luck to you. Have a great course and I'll see you online.